Here's a good definition of what a constitutional isomer is. Pause the video and read the definition I just highlighted, and then I'll explain these two examples they provide below. The molecule on the left has one, two, three, four, five carbons in the ring. One out here, so that's six and seven, so the total of seven carbons. Molecule on the right has six carbons in the ring and one out here, so that's seven. One oxygen, one oxygen, one bromine, one bromine. Hydrogens, there's one here, two, three, four, plus the two here, that's six, and seven. And there's three out here on these methyl groups, so that's 13. Over here, there's two, four, six, eight, nine, and ten plus the three out here on the methyl group, 13. It all checks. Now I'll do some examples in OWL. I'll do a couple problems in this unit here from 11 to B in OWL. Draw constitutional isomers of alkanes, cycloalkanes. So it reads, draw a structural formula for one constitutional isomer of the cycloalkane cyclobutane in which the largest carbon ring has three atoms. So I have to deal with four carbons because it's cyclobutane. Butane implies four. So I'll put three carbons in the ring, connect them with single bonds, So there's the ring, and then I need one carbon and put that outside the ring. And we'll connect it to any one of the rings in the carbon with a single bond. Draw a structural formula for one of the two constitutional isomers of the alkane C7816 in which the longest carbon chain has six atoms. Okay, so I have six carbon atoms in straight chain. And I'll do that first. Three, four, five, and six. And I have a choice of putting this carbon the seventh carbon on somewhere on this chain. Well, if I put it on the end, that's simply going to be straight chain heptane, which is not what they want. That'll be seven carbons in the chain, and we can only have six. Well, I could put it one from the end. That'll work. But now the question is, does it matter if I put it from this end or this end here? No, it doesn't, because if you put it on either end, you could rotate the molecule around, and it'll be the same molecule. Well, then I could also put the carbon either here or here. So I only have two choices, one in from the end or two in from the end. It doesn't really matter to me, so I'll just put it there. 